There's a lot of questions and confusion when it comes on how to use sublimation. So today, we are going to go through the whole process on how to use this hippo, hippo sublimation ink from loading it into the cartridge to printing to the design to pressing the design. So let's go. Hey y'all, it's Stephanie and welcome. If you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button down below. It's absolutely free. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything you want to know how to do, leave it in the comment section down below. And if you could, just give us a big like because it would certainly help out the channel. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, so we got our Hippo Sublimation Ink here. And we are going to open it and see what all came with it. Alright, so we got some plungers and some needle things all right and we got some the ink okay so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut open this ink now you can use these needles but today we are going to be filling up a cyst so if you're going to be filling up just ink cartridges you put the needles on and um, take out the plunger like that and then you would fill it up with the ink now this is a recently cleaned ink cartridge or a cyst and if you need to know how to clean out your cyst I will be putting up a video here pretty soon hopefully on how to do that so let's go ahead and cut this open and I'm going to show you how to fill up the cyst with this ink now this looks very pigmented so that's a good thing. So we are going to do not drink, inhale, and keep out of the reach of children. Sounds like a plan. Okay, so we're going to start with the yellow. And what I do is I fill up the, the, car, the cis cartridge. And so we'll just fill all these up. And while that is filling up, we will take the plunger out of the yellow over here. We'll pull it off of the little strip that holds it in place. We will take this plunger and we will suck it through like this. And as you can see, it's starting to fill up already. Once we get that filled up, we will put a plug in the cartridge and finish filling this up. Most of the time this can hold the whole bottle, sometimes it can't, so we will fill it up until we can't no more. Once we're done filling it up, we'll just leave that in there so that the bubbles can go down. All right. And that is how you fill it up. Now we will take a paper towel. Clean off this side. Just to make sure we don't have any mess. And put our plunger in this side. And that is how you fill up your cysts. So let's do the rest of them and I will show you how to install it. Alright, so let's go over this one more time. This is the black. I know it don't look black, but that's just the color it stains. So let's 
open it up and then we're going to pour it in the reservoir. And then we are going to take our syringe that's included with the kit and we're going to stick it in there and then we are going to suck it and then it's going to fill up the reservoir for us. And this is the cleanest way to do it without getting ink everywhere. So. And we're going to suck out as much air as possible because we do not want a whole lot of air in there. Okay, so then we will put our stopper in it. We will line all these back up the way they go. And we will put our placeholder back in. And those will hold them in place for when you stick them in the printer. So now, let's just make sure we get all the ink out of here. Now we'll grab a paper towel and clean that up, just like we did before. Alright, so we're back at the printer now and we are going to take our cartridges and disconnect them from the mechanism that holds them together and we are going to insert them through the store. Now you can take off the store, but I'm not going to. Um, I leave mine on. We will put them back on the mechanism just to make sure that they are in the correct place. And we will insert them as you would in the ink cartridge. All right, we snap them in place and close that. So once you got your ink cartridges in, you are going to make sure that you have enough slack in this and you are gonna take it and double it back like that. And you're gonna put the top one in that little clip right there to hold it in place. Now it will be able to slide back and forth. You wanna make sure you have enough room here so that it can, and you wanna make sure that it's on the top so that it, it don't get tangled up. All right, so the printer's ready to go. We're gonna load some paper. Now I don't change any settings. I just use the regular printer function settings. So we will print a image and we will be back when it's ready to press. All right, so we have our heat press. It is set to 385 and we have a 100% polyester shirt. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to load the shirt that we wanna use on here. Okay, and we're gonna put that as even as possible. We are gonna take some pieces of paper and load them on the inside of the shirt to protect the back of the fabric. Just like that. And then we are going to make sure that that's where we're gonna press. Okay, and that's correct. Now we are going to take our image and I like to trim off the extra sides of mine so I'm just going to trim around where I don't want it to be 
And then I'm going to take the image and I'm going to make a center mark just like that. We're going to take a lint roller and we are going to roll over our shirt to get any lint that may be on it off of it. Okay. So we're going to put our t-shirt guide right there. And our t-shirt guide fits our heat press. Now we're going to grab our image and we are going to take our center mark from our image and line it up with the center mark of the t-shirt guide. Once we get that lined up, we are going to move the t-shirt guide out of the way. And then we're going to grab our paper. And we are using two pieces so it don't go through, but then we are going to take the Teflon sheet and put it over that. Alright, now normally I would take heat transfer tape and put that down, but I've seemed to misplace mine. So we're going to press this for 60 seconds. All right, so we're gonna lift that up and move it out of the way. We're gonna take that off. And we are gonna remove our image. And there you have it, super cute. I decided to do the logo, as you can see and it turned out very b vibrant so i hope this tutorial helped you and if it did please give us a big thumbs up and if you're new to our channel hit subscribe and have a great day bye